Just days after Group 1B was given the okay to receive vaccinations, Tarrant County Public Health says they have some changes to make in regards to distribution after long lines developed in multiple cities this week. Our Nicole Nielsen has the details all new for us at 10. We, we've got to make some improvements. You know, we Last week, long down. lines were seen in both Arlington and Fort Worth after Group 1B was added to the vaccination mix. So what happens is someone will find out, okay, they're, they're giving vaccinations at uh, Resource Connection. So as a result, everybody just pours to Resource Connection, and they'll stand in line, and they'll register while they're standing in line. And then they'll say, well, yeah, I'm registered. Since December 23rd, Tarrant County Public Health has distributed about 5,700 doses, but say about 25% of those were to folks who weren't supposed to be there. They were vaccinated anyway, but say going forward, everyone needs to register and wait for a call. But don't come out to the site if you don't have someone who's called you and given you a time to come out. The same expectation is being made in Dallas County as a new registration website by the Health and Human Services Department went live tonight. If you want to have a chance to get one from Dallas County Health and Human Services, you need to register. But on top of getting 1B vaccination started, many frontline workers in both Dallas and Tarrant County will need their second dose soon. But hospitals aren't holding any back. Uh, you know, I think we're all a little nervous right now. The first round of Pfizer those folks come up for their second shot this next week. New numbers from the Texas Department of State Health Services show that only about 39% of vaccines that have been received by providers have been administered. But Whitley and Jenkins say those numbers are simply wrong. And so they say there's just a, a, a very uh, significant lag with the state's reporting system to what's actually happening on the ground. If nothing's being held, how can the people who need to go get their second round shot be sure that it's going to be there? Well, that's a question that I've had with the state, and they just said, trust us. And, and we do. We can get into a situation where we are holding a life saving uh, vaccine um, because we might not have enough three weeks from now. If, if the supply is not as big as one would hope, it may be that all of it has to go to second shot people. In Fort Worth, Nicole Nielsen, CBS 11 News. Nicole, thank you. And we have a link to both the Dallas and Tarrant County vaccine registration sites at cbsdfw.com. Just click on links and numbers.